You about to record this as a podcast? Uh, uh, duh. Okay. Damn, I'm like too built for that. Yo, 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 what's good, what's good? This is Dex. What's poppin', what's poppin'? This is Jay. Queen Esther here, crown it. Check us out on Complicated Discord, where we talk about any and everything. No topic is off the table. We ain't pulling no punches. We tell you guys like it is, and we keep it a real. On Complicated Discord podcast on Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google, Radio Public, Stitcher, and Podbean. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Like, subscribe, drop a comment on our YouTube channel. We'll love to hear from you. Hey, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all up. We coming to 2020. This is a new year. This is a new you. This is a new me. So if you haven't done already, man, get you another form of income in your pocket, my baby. Go ahead. Start recording the podcast, man. Shout out to Anchor, man. So don't pussyfoot around because it's free. There's creation tools to allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. So you can be easily heard on, you know, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, all that other stupid dumb shit that niggas like to listen to motherfucking podcasts. And you can make some cheese from that podcast with no minimum listenership. So everything you need to make a podcast is all in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. You punk bitch. About to record this as a podcast? Uh, uh, duh. Okay. Damn, my mind is too built for that. Yes, sir. Um, good afternoon, motherfuckers. This is Meech from the Meech and Spiff podcast. How are you guys? Give you a moment to answer. Oh, how 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 am I? Oh man, I mean. It could it could be better. I'ma just keep it like that, man. I know what y'all thinking. Like shit, man, we're spiff at we're spiff at we're spiff. Well shit, man, spiff ain't gonna be on this particular, you know, Monday episode. And this ain't like the the ones I do by myself, like the you know, Monday mental health checks. You know, just gonna be just a, you know, short kind of like recap and you know, also an apology to, you know, the people that you know, that that listen to us on the regular, man, that, you know, that enjoy, you know, me and Spiff talking crazy, talking some bullshit. Um, again, I just want to apologize to the people that this ain't one of that, you know, one of those episodes given, you know, the circumstances that, you know, that took place over the last week or so. And so, yeah, man, I just want to, I guess you can call this like maybe like a, you know, my week in review you know, type shit, and, you know, just kind of bring you up to speed of, you know, what's been going on in this last week, and why we couldn't really get a pod off, even though we got a pod off, you know, if you're listening to this shit right now, but, yeah, if y'all heard, like, the last, um, you know, last two episodes from last week, um, you know, we were successful in getting that pod off or whatever, and you know, shout out to everybody that listened to uh, "Are You Fucking for Sex," um, featuring Tiana Trump. Even though she wasn't on that bitch, but who cares? I'm trying to get clickbait. I'm trying to get paid. And also, I appreciate everybody that really listened to the, um, you know, the uh, the Meech Monday mental health checks. You know, those are, you know, important to me. Only because you know, I get a chance to like kind of you know get my thoughts together. Sometimes it takes me to speak about it so I can get my, you know, just try to get my mind together. Because, you know, niggas just need that shit sometime, man. And I appreciate everybody that, you know, that reach out to me and, you know, and tell me what they think and tell me how they may be feeling and what they going through. And, you know, I really appreciate some of the feedback that I that I get on that type of shit. So before, you know, before I go into, you know, what we're going to talk about today, you know, again, you know, I I hate that I keep doing this, but, you know, I definitely I appreciate all 12 of you motherfuckers that listen to this bitch on the regular. 
And, you know, whether, you know, y'all got any type of feedback or, you know, want to let me know what's going on or spiff shit, you know, let, you know, let spiff know what the fuck is going on. Um, You know, make sure you always hit us up on, you know, now we got the got the Instagram page, the Meet and Spiff Pod um, on uh, Instagram. And then we got the Meech and Spiff pod at gmail.com if y'all want to send us an email or you can always hit us up you know wherever the fuck you can find us you know i'm east side michi or is it east side Meech on instagram i don't know if you all niggas know what the fuck i look like you know look me up and and check out mike on michael lanier ingram on instagram but without further ado man let, let's let's get into this shit man and that's and and as you can tell by the title yeah, we we gonna talk about that little situation real quick, man. But like I was saying before, man, you know, you know, we gonna kind of like backtrack it, you know, uh, you know, to last week, um, or whatever. So of course, you know, you know, me and Spiff, we we record on Fridays, and then we, you know, you know, do our little edits this that so forth and so on and then we released that bitch on monday so it wasn't this past friday it was the the friday before that so given um me and spiff man you know after you know after after work whatever you know me and spiff you know we decided you know we're gonna we're gonna slide out to the you know slide up to somerset because you know it was my it was my lady's birthday you know, this past, you know, this past Saturday or whatever. So I wanted to get, you know, all her gifts and, you know, all her shit out the way and, you know, just kind of, you know, take a time, kick it with my mans, you know, walk around, you know, do a little window shot because niggas is broke. But after, you know, getting her gifts or whatever, we like, fuck it. You know, we're going to slide back to the spadiggity, you know, get these motherfucking pods off, do a couple edits and you know if y'all haven't saw already we you know we got a we got a couple of you know video clips that should be on YouTube soon so check out for that so you know after you know after we do our shopping we head back to the spadiggity you know everything is motherfucking usual so you know as we record in the pod you know usually i ain't going to hold y'all up man spiff my dog but after we record the pod and we didn't talk for like an hour, two hours straight, it ain't really much to talk about after that, man. Because we didn't kind of like talked, you know, to y'all niggas for about two hours and shit. We done ran out of shit to even talk to, talk about to each other unless we talking about some silly old dumb shit. So, you know, after that, man, after we recorded, re- uh, <laughs> recorded the pod, you know, uh, you know, usually I slide back to the hood. But since we had, like, you know, a couple video clips, you know, we wanted to make sure that we get as much content out as possible. So we're going through the whole, you know, downloading, sending it to this email address, sending it to that email address. So that shit taking hours. And then Spiff Wi-Fi was fucking up. So it's like, yeah, you know, it took a little, you know, took a little bit longer than, than, you know, expected. So, you know, after a while... You know, we like, man, fuck it. It's getting kind of late. Fuck it. I'm going to just take the motherfucking, you know, talking about myself. I'm going to take the motherfucking laptop to the crib. You know, got got better Wi-Fi service over there. So, you know, so we can go ahead and upload and get these vids out. Because, you know, we got to secure another bag. You know, we got to get that YouTube bag. Because we ain't, we ain't doing this shit for free. Whole time. So... You know, after, you know, we exchanged pleasantries, my, you know, bags up the bag for me, got the laptop. Man, I'm getting ready to go. I'm sliding out because, shit, I, I ain't going to hold you up. I just want to be with my family at this point. It's getting late. I just want to, you know, kiss on my baby, say what's up to the old lady, and just kind of kick it and, you know, figure out the rest of the shit in the morning. So, you know, I, I leave this apartment. I go downstairs, hop up off the elevator. You know, I'm walking out the front door, saying what up. You know, saying my my deuces to the to the front desk nigga that never do shit. He just be sitting there, just minding his own fucking business, watching porn. I caught him, but that's another subject for another day. So as I'm going outside, I notice it's like two white girls. 
They sit on the corner, like, you know, on the phone, like, oh, my God, I can't believe they stole my car. I was like, damn, sucks to be you, white people. Sucks to be you. And so as I'm walking towards where my car should have been, I look and I'm like, I don't see my car. So I'm reaching for my keys. I'm like, come on, man. You know, I got to, you know, I got the remote start. So I'm hitting the remote start on my shit and I'm looking around. I still, I still don't see it. I ain't going to hold y'all niggas up. I walk down maybe a block, you know, looked around, you know, look my lefts and my rights. I turn around. I, I circle the block. I'm like, shit, I look down another block. I'm like. Oh man, these niggas they got me. So man, so I'm 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 befuddled. I'm fucked up. Man, I, I turn around and I see the white girls, they was like, you know, we assuming they got you too. I'm like, oh man, somebody got low. They got little on on your mans. Man, they done duff the whippers, man. I am hurt. I am sick to my motherfucking stomach man like like i'm looking like g herbo when he got his chain like i'm like boo hooing well shit i felt like it at least man but i'm like i turned to the little white girls it was like yeah you know it happened about 30 minutes ago and i just keep thinking in my head i'm like damn i usually don't even be here this late i would have probably left spiff crib probably about two hours before then only because, you know, niggas ain't really got the video shit popping or whatever. Boop. Don't even fucking matter at this point. So I'm like, I'm hurt. And, you know, the girls are like, yeah, they must have got you too. And and I'm just thinking about all the shit that I had in my car. And it's like, it's not even a point that they, that they stole the car. It's about what was inside of that bitch, man. Like, not in not including you know the gifts that I got you know for the for the old lady you know you you got the the shit you know you got my son's car seat stroller you know and you know I always keep like you know like my birthday and you know father's day car like in my in my like my little sun visor cuz you know any any times whereas you know I'm feeling down or You know, I just need a little, you know, boost of, you know, you know, confidence or any type of like pick me up. I always look at, you know, the cars that, you know, that I've gotten, you know, over these last, you know, you know, year and a half. And man, they took all of that shit, man. It's not even a point. It's not even about the shit that is personally mine. It's just about the other shit of others, man. You know, just like my girl's gifts and. You know, just like my son's, you know, car, you know, car seat and stroller. It's like, damn, man. Like, why me, man? So as you know, as I'm going through my mind trying to figure out what's my next step and, you know, what I should do, man, I runs back into the to the inside, you know, where the security was and shit. I'm like, dog, like, man, what's going on? Like, what happened, man? Did you see some? It's like, man, I think I seen three niggas, um, you know, about a half an hour ago, but shit, I don't know what the fuck happened. So you mean to tell me you supposed to be security. You seen, you seen some niggas and you ain't, you don't know what the fuck happened. You just saw some niggas and, you know, they just took my shit and you just let that shit happen, basically. So I was like, man, I'm done talking to this nigga at this point, man. So I'm, I'm on the phone trying to call the call the you know the federalities or whatever. Like man, hey man, put an APB out. You know niggas and niggas and Duff my charger, man. We need to get this bitch as soon as fucking possible. Of course, you know I call nine one one. The motherfuckers like man, we can't do shit for you, man. You gotta go ahead and you know make a report in person. So I call Spiff, man. He called him downstairs, like, yo, they didn't duff my shit, man. We gotta go to the precinct. He like, man, you lying. Man, if I'm lying, I'm flying and I ain't grew wings yet. So, man, we goes, you know, we goes down to the third precinct or whatever. You know, I file a report in person, you know, that little shit, you know, did all of that or whatever. And so, you know, by this time, I'm sick, man. I'm sick, man, because it's like, 
it's like the same the same shit I was just talking about, like maybe a few pods ago. You know, if y'all niggas listen to the on, you know, listen to the shit on the regular. It's like when you work hard for some shit and and it's instantly like just taken away from you in an instance, like that shit fucking hurts. And I brought up this example, um, you know, a couple of pods ago when I was, you know, when me and Spiff was talking about like, you know, music that motivates you. And, you know, I gave up the, you know, the quotes that I heard from payroll, you know, um, took an Uber to the lot and came back in the six or I made bus riders want to go and cop a six. It was like, damn, man, I worked very hard. You know, I done put a lot of time in. I didn't I didn't gave my all. I didn't did all of this shit to get where I'm at today and for this shit to just be taken away from me. It's like I put in a lot of a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of a lot of stress, a lot of work and a lot of scams and a lot of doing a lot of bullshit to get, you know, the shit that I've earned for niggas to like just take that shit away from me. And like, man, that shit, man, that shit is different, man. That shit hurt. And on top of that, now I got to tell my, you know, now I got to tell my lady, like, yeah, they kind of stole the shit that I got you for your birthday. And it's like, I don't want, I don't want her to look at, you know, of what happened as like an excuse. Like, nah, baby, like I bought you some shit, like, and that shit ain't cheap. Like that shit is not cheap at all. And a lot of, and it's funny, I was talking to, talking to my man the other day and shit. He was like, man, it, you know, even if you didn't buy her shit, you know, you could look at it as excuse like shit, man. Well, they stole my car and it was in there. But no, I don't want, I don't want to look at any type of, you know, situations as a, as a get out of jail free car. Like, like, no, man, they, they took my, they took my baby shit. Like that shit hurt. Like now I got to double back and. You know, and, and rebuy things and try to figure out other things to put in place to to compensate for the shit that they stole. And it's like, man, that shit is hard, especially when you work hard. And, and lately I've been putting in overtime at work and shit, you know, to to rebuy all the shit that they fucking stole. Like, niggas ain't got my North Face coat. <laughs> like, I had, like, two pairs of Tims in the trunk and a couple gym shoes. These niggas even took my drawers. Niggas and took my dirty fucking drawers. Like, like man, I was on my way to go do laundry too. Like, man, I had some dirty clothes in the in the back in the trunk, and them niggas took that. I'm like, sick, sick as dog shit, man. That shit hurt. But just carrying on, man. So after, you know, after, you know, I filed a report, you know, I went back to the, you know, back to the spadiggity. You know, cuddle up with my family for a little minute and like, man, I ain't know what the fuck to do, man. I can't lie. I ain't know what to do. I ain't know, you know, up from down, left from right. I ain't know what to do because I ain't never really been in this position before. And me knowing like, man, niggas out here got my charger, man. They done already bust that bitch down. Niggas and strip that bitch for parts or whatever. So, you know, time goes on, man. I talk to... You know, I talk to my insurance people. Luckily, you know, if you out here riding dirty, I suggest that you don't, man. Just in case if niggas duff your shit, you know, you got some type of coverage. But luckily, you know, shout out to Progressive, man. You know, talk to the claims adjusters, let them know what's going on, you know, figure out, you know, whatever. Got a, got a rental, you know, I'm in a whole-ass little mini crossover van, Kia Sorento. But fuck it, man, it's getting me to point A to point B. You know, until, you know, until then. But, but hold on real quick. You know, let's take a quick break and listen to the sponsors of this podcast. Hey, man, peep gang. Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? Shit, when, when I was trying to get this podcast off the ground with Spiff, man, we had a lot of questions, man. Like, how do I record an episode? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? Also, how do I how do I make money off this podcast, man? Man, peep gang, the answer to every one of those questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, 
is 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors too, so you can get paid to podcast, man. Secure the bag. Listen, man, me and, me and Spiff, man, we ain't, we ain't come here to get paid off this, man. We just wanted everyone to enjoy you know, and listen to our convos and stories about, you know, our upbringing. But why not get paid for it? You know what I'm talking about? So, if you always wanted to start a podcast, make money doing it, go to anchor.fm slash start. Again, that's anchor.fm slash start to join me, Spiff, and the diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. And guess what, man? We can't wait to hear your podcast, man. So, hey, that's it. All right, man. I thank y'all motherfuckers for listening to that advertisement because, um, yeah, niggas stole my shit and I need every motherfucking dollar I can get. But, yeah, carrying it on. So, after I got the, you know, the rental and everything, everything, I'm sending, you know, my claim adjuster lady, you know, you know, copies of my bank reports and uh, make sure I send her my keys. And I guess I'm guessing they asked them for all this shit just in case I ain't, you know, fucked up and just needed to report my whip stolen for whatever. But, you know, a couple of days go by or whatever, you know, at this point, it's probably maybe maybe about four or five days go by since, the, you know, since it's been stolen. Um. Yeah, so it's probably about Thursday, this past Thursday or whatever. I get a call. It's about eh, about eight thirty, nine o'clock. Bring, bring, bring. You know, on the on the iPhone beat. Hey, this is such and such from the Detroit um, Police Recovery Department. Just calling to re- you know let you know that we found your car. I'm like, oh, niggas then found it. Oh man, because at this point, I didn't already. I didn't already chucked it up to the game. I didn't already told motherfuckers. I'm like, man, I'm hoping that they don't find it because I'm coming straight motherfucking Hellcatter Demon at this point, And I ain't leaving that fucking house on gangsters. So I'm like, damn, y'all found it? Damn, where y'all find it at? Oh, uh, we found it on such and such, you know, Linwood. I'm like, damn, niggas was in Linwood in my shit? Damn, dirty ass West Side niggas, man. Fuck them. So, after that, you know, I asked, I asked the lady on the phone, I was like, well, you know, can you tell me, you know, was there any damages to the car that you can think of at this point? She was like, well, you know, all I can say, you know, uh, you know, window busted out, um, you know, the rear view mirror is gone, but that's all I can say at this moment, at this point. So I'm like, okay, maybe, uh, maybe these niggas were just joyriding in my shit. Maybe that's the thing. So, you know, the following day, you know, after, you know, chilling with the lady, you know, I took her out for, you know, a little brunch before she left and went out of town or whatever. Swoop down, uh, went to the went to the little tow yard that they had the car at, man, and I saw my baby in the back of that motherfucking yard, man. Looking straight violated, man. Looking so, 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 so violated, man. Man, my tires all burnt out, man. Look like niggas was doing 360s. And my shit, man. I'm like, oh, man. Mind you, I had just bought some tires for that bitch. Ooh, I just bought some tires. Went up to discount tires and copped them motherfuckers. And they was not cheap. Nigga, they had a donut on that bitch. Niggas had a donny. Had the burnt out tires in the back. I'm like, oh man, I'm sick. I was like, man, maybe at least they they at least left the stroller. Maybe the car seat duffed. Man, I mean, I kind of hear, you know, the the gifts I got for my lady. I had them in a box and you know under another box on the bump on, 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 under some other shit and duffed. I'm like, damn man, these niggas done did me dirty. They done did me so wrong. They done did me so dirty. I'm looking in the front seat. I was like, man, maybe I could start this bitch up, man. I'm guessing they ran out of gas. That's why they probably left the car. Bitch wouldn't even start. I mean, lights came on, but the bitch wouldn't even start. 
man, you know, as as y'all niggas may know me, I don't, I'm not a, you know, I don't smoke, I don't smoke cigarettes, I don't smoke blacks, I don't smoke weed, I don't do none of that shit, like, man, I might breathe the herbals, you know, only on special occasions, you feel me, but, you know, I, I don't even smoke in my car, and I don't even, you know, spiff my man, I don't, even he know, he don't even smoke in my car, I'm like, man, these niggas in the ash all in my cup holder. Niggas ashing all on my seats, man. Niggas that went to McDonald's on my shit. Niggas that ordered McChickens and all types of McDoubles. Motherfucking large shakes and shit. I'm looking at I'm looking at all the motherfucking McDonald's rappers and receipts. I'm like, oh, these niggas was riding my shit like it was theirs. I'm hurt. I look in the back seat. There's all type of brisk bottles. I'm like, oh, niggas was just in my shit living living so after you know after i'm looking around at the car i'm noticing like different like little damages you know this that and third i mean structurally like the car isn't fucked up it's just super duper violated because just the way that they just the way that they did me man with the with the glass all in the car you know ashes and fucking just dirt and dust and don't make it any better it was raining so man fucking rain is inside the car the car smelling like ass and mildew i'm sick i'm like at this point it's like this car ain't even mine no more man you belong to the streets (laughs) for real man but damn man i'm just thinking like damn man why did it have to happen to me man like why me and and it's like I was thinking to myself that day that I went home the night that it was that I reported it stolen. It's like no matter where I'm at in life, it's like as soon as I get to a level where as I'm starting to you know come up, it's always something that knocks me the fuck back like. 10 times like 10 steps back it's like i get to that point where as i want and i and where i need to be in life and it's always something that knocks me back every fucking time man but you know like people say oh god gives battles to his toughest soldiers well nigga i'm tired of fighting i'm let let me come up on some shit sometime God damn, man, shit, like shit. I I want to live. I want to live comfortable. I wanna, I wanna be whereas I ain't got no worries. Everything is paid for. Everything is this, that, and the third. Everything is taken care of. I hate starting over from scratch. I hate it, man. Like damn, can my can my rise be gradual instead of being up and down? I come up two steps and I fall back nine. Like damn, man, can a nigga, can a can a young nigga get money anymore? Shit, shout out to Kanye. But <laughs> like, you know, with, with me joking like this, like I really like mean that shit. Like, can it ever be a point whereas I can just come up and just like? when can i just look good you know for at least six months before you know before some drastic shit happens and it happens <laughs> every year or every so often it's it's tiring man but let's take another quick break man because i gotta put these motherfucking ads in But yeah, man, can a nigga really get a break? Can a nigga win? Can a nigga look good? But you know what? Niggas don't allow you to. But you know what? I ain't gonna let this shit get me down. Just like I said before, it's just a um, it's just a little bit more motivation, man. It's just, you know, I just got to grind a little bit harder, man. Work a little bit harder, man, you know. Try to crank these pies out. Try to get the whole YouTube shit going, man. Because I'm trying to diversify my bag, man. You know, I'm trying to I'm trying to make a better way for, you know, for my family. You know, Spiff included, man. You know, but you already know that's that's family regardless, man. I'm trying to make a better way for all of us, man. And it's like, you know, little minor setback, you know. Giving all the shit that I got to buy back and 
and everything, you know, I told Spiff, I was like, well, shit, man, you know, before all these actions that took place, I told him, I was like, man, before the first year, man, we're going to have the whole studio together, we're going to come into the new year, you know, cranking out the pies with the YouTube, you know, it may not happen, it may not happen, you know, at the first of the year, you know, as we, as we expected, but man, it's, maybe it's a reason for that, you know, maybe God got, you know, better plans, and Maybe he's opening my eyes to maybe something else I should be, you know, focusing on. But, you know, we're going to get there. You know, it may not be the, the time that we wanted, but we're going to get there eventually, man. And, and I, I, I can't let I can't let you fuck niggas get, you know, get me down, man. I can't, man. You know, I look at it like shit. It's learning experience shit. I won't be going down and, and parking that motherfucker Spiff apartment, you know, anytime soon. But it is what it is. Maybe we got to relocate the venue. Maybe the energy around that place just ain't just ain't creative enough for, you know, for me and Spiff to, you know, to, to work in. Maybe we got to switch it up, man. Maybe we got to try different avenues. Maybe we got to get out, man. Maybe touch the people, you know, do some do some pies outside of just doing them bitches in, you know, in the apartment. But. But we're going to figure it out, man, you know. <laughs> we're going to figure it out, man. Oh, and another thing, man. I guess you could look at it, you know, like, on the bright side of things, man. Because, you know, in my in my car, like, you know, I keep uh, I keep my, like, my hap, you know, backpack, you know, in the car. You know, at all times, you know, just in case I got a bus in to work and I got all my, you know, all my supplies and utensils in that bitch or whatever. And a couple things I was in that bitch, like my work badge, um, you know, pens, paper type shit, you know, my parking badge was in there. And and what I keep on me at all times is my notebook, you know, full of ideas, you know, full of, you know, podcast topics, full of like my, you know, little notes that I jot down, like for my mental health, you know, Mondays and shit. And, you know, when they took that, like, that was, that was a major, one of the another major things that, that really hurt, that really hurt that I've, that I feel like I lost and shit. And shout out, shout out to Mila. She the one that, that bought me that, um, that notebook. It was originally for me to like, and I still do. It's originally for me to like, kind of like jot my, like my thoughts down anytime, like I'm feeling, you know, not myself. You know, it's for me to kind of, like, get my emotions out and, like, write it down and try to get that shit. But I kind of converted it from, you know, jotting down how I'm feeling to turning that into, like, you know, notes that I'm going to talk about, like, on the mental health shit. And on top of that, you know, just, you know, like I said before, like, you know, thoughts that I keep, you know, for the pod that I want to bring up to Spiff and a couple goals and a couple interviews that I want to do with certain people. That's the type of shit, you know, that's the notebook that I write that shit down in. And when they took that, like, like I said, man, I was, was kind of fucked up. I was kind of hurt about that shit. But when I saw my car and I noticed that little black little notebook, I was like, damn, man. At least there's a bright side to this. Like, I had all my notes in there. I had everything that I needed in there. That was, like, the first... <laughs> that was, like, one of the first things I grabbed up in there. Like, of course, they took everything else. They took my badge and all that shit, but... Fuck. But, like, man... I guess that's kind of like a... You know, a, a bright spot on a fucking cloudy day. Like, my notebook was still there. And so that... You know, that was good, man. I guess... Everything ain't all bad, but it could be better. But I'm blessed, man. Superly, duperly blessed, man, that, you know, I was able to get something out of it at least. But, hey, but, like I said, man, this ain't going to be one of those, you know, full-length pods. You know, me and Spill, we still going to get these motherfucking pods off. You know, I'm going to have to slide on him in the next few days. Um... You know, do this shit as per usual. And so, man, you know, like I like I always say, man, I appreciate all 12 of you motherfuckers for listening to the pie on the motherfucking regular. You know, and, and I appreciate everybody for giving feedback, whether you reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter, um, you know, whatever, man. I really appreciate you motherfuckers, man. And as Spiff would say, fuck you. 
but he appreciates you motherfuckers as well, man. And again, man, I thank you motherfuckers for listening. And hey, catch y'all niggas later on. Peace.